my shake Watch me rockin' if I can't stop If I should fall, just go ahead Go and catch me, baby Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tia aka Teacup Simmer and this is a completely new series in The Sims 4. So we are going to be doing our cow plant farm challenge and if you guys have never heard of that challenge before I'll leave a link in the description box below to our rules and to the original link to the rules because Theory Pixel Biologist did um, created this challenge actually with her patrons and so I wanted to make um, an homage to that and definitely put down links to Siri's channel in the description box below if you want to check out her version of the challenge. This challenge that I'm doing is going to be using the sims that we previously had in our stepmom let's play diana ackerman and her girlfriend rain joseph who are going to be the main sims for this challenge the goal is for diana to take this dilapidated farm that used to be the home of her great aunt that her stepmother um well no it's her stepmother um, Leah's great aunt um, used to own and Leah decided to give it to Diana as a present since she finished her university after she graduated from after she graduated from college and so she, to help her with her farming and her gardening aspirations Leah decided to give her this old deed to the farm unfortunately it is really really bad and as you can tell Diana's trying to talk it up to Rain who is listening because she's a good girlfriend and of course she wants to support Diana and all the things she does but this house is ridiculous and as you guys saw as we were coming up the area it is on one of the biggest lots in Brindleton Bay this is where Diana and Rain decided to move because it is one of the best places for Rain to work on her aspiration of being a pet rescuer which is also going to be part of our challenge so Diana is going to be focusing on the cow plant farming part of our challenge she is going to be focusing on trying to rebuild the farm and the farmhouse to make it um, better um, looking and to kind of get it, put it back in running order. She's going to have a lot of plants going. She's going to be selling a lot of her produce. She's going to be trying to get as many cow plants as possible because there is a time limit on this, you guys. She has entirely one year to finish this. Originally, Siri had her um, challenge going for one summer, which lasted, I think, I don't know how many days 40 some odd days well what I'm saying is that each season in The Sims I have set to being two weeks and Diana has this entire year to get the farm up and running again so she has the last week of spring she has all of the two weeks of summer and the two weeks of fall and the two weeks of winter and then the first week of spring again to get the farm back up and running because of course this is a gigantic farm that she doesn't always have she may not have the money to take care of currently the money they have now is just um kind of on loan to help them basically get some basic appliances it's all going to go away once they start taking away taxes so this is pretty much going to go down to 2000 once I get a hold of it but right now that's Diana's challenge and Rain's challenge is going to be a pet rescuer and she wants to she's probably going to ask Diana about it but it's already set up so she's going to use this area here to train and befriend stray animals in Rindleton Bay train them in a certain number of skills and then sell them off she has to train six dogs six cats and one raccoon and one fox altogether 14 animals some of she can only have one breeding pair for a set of animals at a time so it may or may not be beneficial for her to just befriend two animals and then have them have a litter a litter of puppies or kittens but depending on how we go with the challenge we may decide that they may or may not be the best work for her but as you guys can see there's a lot of room on the farm for all of our animals to play around and get into things so it should be interesting but the farmhouse is actually very broken down which is going to be part of what Diana has to fix she has to fix up the farmhouse and fix up the barn where the cow plants are going to be there are a lot of different small tasks and things to help fix up the pond she may be able to go down into the mines at one point here is a um a handiness skill or a workbench for her to work on 
fixing up the entire house so it's going to be a lot of gardening and a lot of handiness skill for this challenge it's also something i really wanted to focus on because i thought it would be a great um, challenge for diana since after stepmom ended since they were pretty much at the end of high school anyway um i thought it would be a good thing to kind of expand and originally i wanted to have this be our seasons let's play but it just never got around to it since i was on hiatus for such a long time so now we're going to be working with these two lovely ladies and working on this challenge there are a lot of rules <laughs> there are a lot of different small tasks that we could be working on but we're going to be focusing on like one thing at a time so it's going to take a little bit of me probably bumbling around a bit the girls trying to get used to being in a very um unsavory house i think rain is very supportive for dealing with <laughs> diana's need to fix up this place and have like a farm of her own it's just, i think she's very excited to have a farm of her own but it's going to take a lot of work and a lot of money to get rid of all of these big boulders to fix up the trees to get rid of a lot of the big um, overgrown areas in on the farm so it's going to take a little bit of time and hopefully you guys will stick around with me while we figure this out and see if we can get these two ready to fix up the farm and have it bustling with plants and animals and all the other fun things. I'm kind of super excited to see what happens. And of course, since they're currently young adults, they may or may not decide to adopt children at some point or like have a baby or just anything. There's going to be a lot going on. Okay, so we're just going to get started. We're probably going to need to take off the autonomy on these guys so they can go about their day. One second. Awesome. So these guys are going to be still sitting around chatting while I show you guys around the house. So we have this area over here, which used to be the living area. There is the urn for great aunt Elise Cowberry, who used to be the owner of this place. Um, she's right here. Unfortunately, she's dead. So this is going to be very hard on everyone if they start seeing random ghosts show up. There are a couple... Um, lot traits that we actually can work on changing if we start sprucing up the um start sprucing up the house the, the fanciest thing in this house is this fireplace which i absolutely adored and i could not put the fireplace in but there are some really nice pieces in here but as you guys can tell there are cobwebs everywhere it's really basic furniture there are a lot of cracks in the windows. This is really old furniture. There's like a mouse hole there. I think there's a lot of my mouse holes. This used to be the laundry room. Um, let's see. There are lots of bottles and old juice and supposedly um, alcoholic type beverages, food everywhere. Cause we're saying people were squatting in here for a really long time while before anybody came back to the house before the lease was well, not the lease, but the deed was given over to, um, was Le when Leah gave the deed to Diana. And then here's an area where mushrooms grow, but it looks like someone was doing some, some interesting, some interesting sacrifices over here. So we might have to incorporate some more mushrooms over here the pond is of course icky so we're probably gonna have to fix that up there are some dead trees over here clusters of boulders that we have to get rid of i think there's one two three six different clusters of boulders that we're gonna have to pay to get rid of this tree is also dead so we're gonna have to work on that this is an old well that we we won't be able to use until we find a pomegranate um, this is the old barn that is also still broken down and of course it's raining it, it fits the atmosphere of the house and these are where the cow plants used to be so we're probably gonna put those there once we have the time and if we start going upstairs as you guys can see it's still pretty bad here as you can tell people were squatting in here at one point the girls put an air mattress up here but there's a lot of graffiti diana put a picture of her and lucian up here just to help her feel at home because of course it's a pretty bad situation and she's not telling her dad or leah how bad the house is so she's just gonna try and fix it up before they notice 
and there's some nice balconies over here but as you guys can tell the house is in really bad shape so most of the time after we start upping her handiness scale we'll be able to start fixing up the siding fixing up the windows fixing up the barn which will start to make it look a little bit better and as we get more money which we need to fix the money thing the money is going down to 2000 because you need to, we need a good amount to start off with but all of that money we're gonna say is from the initial like initial rent if we if you guys have lived in e in any Asian countries like think of it as key money um so what we're going to do now Diana doesn't actually have to go to work technically she has work in two days because this is a different type of gardening than she's been doing for most of her life we're saying she has to basically relearn gardening from scratch so she has to finish the freelance botanist um freelance botanist aspiration and she has to get to the top of the gardening career um for at least for the home gardener anyway i think she's going to become like a botanist i don't think she's going to become a flower arranger i definitely think she's going to focus more on botany but we want to start her off by putting some plants down and i think this is as good a spot as any so we're going to put down let's put down maybe three apple trees and then put down some snapdragons let's put down mushrooms the strawberries I think came from her original garden so we want to keep that so we can pretty much extend on that the carrots also came from her original garden so some of these came from her older garden that had a lot of really good plants in it a lot of the what are the what's the word for it a lot of the modded plants I used to have you guys I got rid of because I just couldn't handle like I've pretty much gotten rid of most of the mods in my game if you guys couldn't tell already uh, most of the mods are gone um, I still love them I still love all of all of my plant mods and maybe at some point I might add them back in but right now I've been so worried about my game crashing and all of those different things that I'm trying to just slow down pretty much and make sure that my game's running at top capacity before I start adding in any more fancy things. Is there any other seed packets? I'm pretty sure there was one more. Am I crazy? There's holly. But we don't really need holly at the moment. Let's add some sage down. And then some basil. I think that's basil. No, that's parsley. And then I think the basil can go right there. I think that's all of it. Maybe we should buy some more. This may cost us some money. I don't know if we can buy from here. Buy a restaurant, purchase gifts. No, I think we need... I think we need a computer. Rain has researched a trash plant. <laughs> Where is Rain anyway? Oh, we did have a trash plant. It just popped up. Oh, that's from all the trash that's been laying around. Oof, that stinks. So we have a trash plant randomly growing. <gasps> There's a dog. Who are you? Okay, who are you, small one? Stray Kevin. Aw, Rain, come meet this, come meet this stray. So the goal for Rain is to actually start by friendly introducing herself to some of these new pets. So she's going to befriend a bunch of strays. Stop talking to your girlfriend and go befriend a stray. Who's calling you, Diana? I can't tell. Rain, did you miss the dog? Maybe she's stuck. Can we? Can we do it? Or is the dog just not going to stop? Ooh, what's over here? Oh, it's wild catnip. Let's have her harvest that so we can pick up some more. So I guess we're not going to be able to befriend that stray. So possibly we'll have to go off to a park or something and see if we can find more strays for Rain to meet because currently her first goal is supposed to be befriending some 
of the strays in the area so that she can actually start working on growing up her friendliness and her ability to train them and the goal at least according to our rules is for her to have fully trained um six different dogs and six different cats so she's also supposed to complete the friend of the animal's aspiration and complete the straining skill and max out the vet skill which means we're going to have to add in one of the little vet things in here and of course she can take at least every dog once to the vet but after that she has to take care of it, take care of them herself and i think diana oh she's over there did she pick up everything okay so i think we're going to send Ooh, no they're all they're all rainy and wet let's see if we can add in an umbrella for them umbrella stand there we go we'll put that right there and then they can oh that's like two hundred dollars oh gosh so she can take an umbrella rain come take an umbrella don't be sad i don't know who you're mourning but don't be sad Oh, rain. Let's go with rainbows because of that's, of course, you. That's very you. And then, Diana, are you going to come take an umbrella? Let's have you go here. So hopefully she'll come back home. Yeah, there we go. Rain, can you come out here? We'll wait for your girlfriend and then you can tell her about all your feelings. Okay, let's see. Diana. Let's go with polka dots. I think that's a good thing. Why are you all glowy? Or is that just is that just me? So we're gonna go. Let's see. Let's travel with Diana. And we're going to travel to the park and see if we and see if we can help Rain find an animal to befriend. It's raining and we are here. And Rain is still sad. And Diana is still uncomfortable. So, let's ask her about her day, discuss her sad mood, and console about death so that they can so they can talk it out. Are there any strays around here? It's a very rainy day. It's possible that some of the animals just may not want to be out right now. And there aren't any stray animals ever around anywhere. Kitties and puppies galore. No one's around. You'd think there'd be some strays around. Maybe we'd have to go to the docks to see if we can find some. Okay, so the Salty Paw Saloon is pretty empty except for this one lady, Miranda Ben Ahmud, which sounds like a food. Are there any animals? Don't see any. Maybe they just don't come out on rainy days? Like I said, I don't spend a lot of time out here, so I have no earthly idea how likely it is to see animals in this raining. Maybe it's just like very unlikely. What are you doing, Rain? Oh, she's going to the bathroom. But her has a pet in her household, be friends with one animal, be friendly with animals 12 times. So her goal is to start including some pets in her family, but we're not finding any strays. And I feel like that's also part of the reason why she's sad. Aside from mourning a dead lady she doesn't really know. I think part of the reason why Rain is so upset is because she can't seem to find any animals to bring into her life. She really, really wants some pets. And Diana is just like, I really hate being all uncomfortable. Oh, she's all the way back here. At least she's having a slightly, she's no, she's not even having a good time. Oh, poor darling. I'm so sorry. I know it's kind of hard considering that nothing is going the way that you want it to, but 
That's life, sweetie. That's really just how life goes, unfortunately. <gasps> Look, it's her dad. Now, Malcolm, why in the world are you out here in uh, Brindleton Bay? Please, There's absolutely no reason for that. Did you come here just checking up on your daughter? So she's going to tell him an engaging story, probably to kind of talk him down and be like, yeah, it's totally going great, Dad. I absolutely adore this place. It's going fine. Why are you feeling flirty? Like, why are you feeling flirty, Dad? Why are you out here without Leah? That is a separate conversation. Like, we could have an entire... We can have an entire new Let's Play on why Malcolm is all the way out in Brindleton Bay feeling flirty without his his wife, who he finally got married to. And has two children with. It's technically four, but two biologically. Come on, dude. Why are you out here? Hopefully it's just to check on your daughter. But he still has such a baby face. But I think she's happy to see him. I think seeing her dad makes her feel better. Feel a little bit better. Uh -huh. She still wants to meet a cat. Is it still raining? Yeah, I don't think she's gonna meet a cat. Maybe she'll come over here next time and try and chat up a cat. When it's not as rainy. Because I feel like none of the animals are gonna want to be out in the rain. Oh goodness. What just happened? She probably said something uncomfortable. Like, oh yeah, I don't... It's definitely great here. I'm not having problems at all. It's awesome. You should see the house, Dad, but I'm not going to let you go. And he's not buying it at all. Ooh, that was a creepy book. <laughs> but I think this put their spirits up. I think we're going to send them home. She's going to say bye to her dad. All right, so we're back home. Everyone's still wet and uncomfortable, but it's still an, inc and an incredibly creaky and gross house. But they're making do. I think they're gonna I think they're gonna do fine. I really want to put this in order because this is gonna bother me. There we go. So this is going to be. There it is. Yeah, that was the thing I needed. It needed to be fixed. Like I can't. There we go. And then the apple trees will be fine. And we're gonna need to buy some more. Can we buy seeds? We can buy seeds from here. I forgot. Look at me being all forgetful. Um, let me see. Activities. There we go. So there's starter flowers. Let's go with starter fruits. Starter veggies. We don't really need catnip. Did I get starter fruits? We did. Ooh, we can buy rare plants. We're not supposed to do that yet. We're gonna pretend that's not there. Everybody with me? Yeah, we're good. We're not. We're gonna pretend that it's not there. Technically, she hasn't reached 10 yet, so she can't buy those. Um, technically, we're saying technically she hasn't reached that yet. Um, old Timmy's wash tub. I feel like we should put that out here because they need a place to dry their clothes. It's only, and it's pretty cheap too. And I feel like Rain would say it's very eco-friendly. I think Diana would have a field day. Cause like I said, her family, her dad was a scientist. <laughs> they had, they had money. They did not have problems with paying for anything. So be living here is gonna be an issue for her. Ooh, and they have bees. We could get bees for her. Um, let's get another set of starter flowers and another set of starter fruits and veggies just so that we can have some variety and then we'll just start stacking them up here. Let's have her open up these seed packets. There we go. And rain is gonna go cook some food because she's hungry. I don't know if she's gonna cook for everyone, but hopefully she does because where'd everybody is? Oh, they're right there. Okay, so let's see. What do we got? We got bell peppers. We'll put these over here since they're not going to be ready until summer. These aren't gonna be ready until fall. 
We'll put those down there because we still want them. Spinach. Ooh, these are winter. Um, let's put these here. We're just going to go with three. It's just like a baseline just because. And then these are summer. So we only want two of these. And then we already have enough apple. We have mushrooms, but they're just general mushrooms. Those need to be watered. So let's have her come out here and plant all this stuff, which I know she's uncomfortable. I'm so sorry, darling, but you need to, this is what your job is. So her job was to purchase seeds just to get to gardening level four. Since this is technically more farming than gardening, she's definitely learning some new skills. So I think this is where we're going to end this part right here, you guys. Rain, did you not make enough food for everyone? I the... Oh goodness, you silly, silly girl. What did you make? What is that? Pasta Primavera, and it's vegetarian safe. So you could have made your girlfriend some. Let's have her cook a gourmet meal. Let's do a party size Pasta Primavera. Cause she's not hungry anymore, but still make something to share because that's what you do <gasps> and there's a rat oh gosh she's gonna have they're gonna have such a hard time all right so i want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this series please let me know down in the comments if you guys have any ideas for what you guys think of this challenge like i said before this is something that was created by siri pixel biologist i kind of just tweaked it a bit and then i made the beast tamer challenge which is technically what rain is doing for our amazon challenge which is like there's a lot of challenges you guys um but i kind of made some tweaks to it but of course this is originally series challenge so there are, i'll leave links to all of the rules and everything down in the description box below but if you guys have any questions or if you guys have any ideas please let me know in the comments if you guys enjoyed this series please leave a like and please subscribe if you really love me and i will see you guys next time bye